everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls. This is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning June 24th, 2024. We got the good 2424. All right. Let's dive in here. You know, a lot of what I've been picking up on is just a lot of people becoming more and more aware. Being more and more aware of the unseen. Being more curious about that. Um, being more curious about their soul's origins. Now, years and years ago when this started to really become a very popular topic, people were using that in an egotistical way. Uh, trying to find a way to make something their whole personality. Avoiding being human. You know, those are all things that we don't want to do with this. But having a genuine uh, interest and even understanding of what type of soul you are. And I will do a video on angelic souls here after I record this so we can at least explore that part of it. <laughs> right. Uh, the more and more you understand that, the more you know how to take care of yourself the more your past and the things that you've been through might be able, in a spiritual sense, be put into context. Okay. Now let's see what's going on for some of you out there. <laughs> we have the high priestess. This is the number two. This is Archangel Sandovan. On the card, it says Archangel Haniel. But two is about balance, harmonizing, and, you know, being grounded. And that is very Archangel Sandovan kind of energy. So if you've been finding that you just really want to kind of listen to music, you're really into sound healing, or you're finding, well, what's become very, very popular on social media is ASMR. Why do you think that is? <laughs> right? For some people, it's very soothing for their mind. So the high priestess, you're opening up your awareness. You're getting in touch with your intuition. You're no longer ignoring those... And maybe for some of you, it's kind of supernatural, but for others, it's just this highly spiritual experience and you're no longer allowing like third dimensional ego consciousness energy to shut that down. Now it's starting to get where like people who call this stuff woo woo, they look like the fools. They, <laughs> they look like they're the ones who just don't get it. All right. This says uh, powerful psychic insights, reflection and meditation that provides valuable information be at peace. This is what we're talking about here. Don't let the outside world get you down here. And this week, I think you're going, to, I don't know that it's going to be a lot of like, hey, the outside world's really getting to you. You know, you're going to have to just remember you're, you're a spiritual being having human experience. It's none of that stuff that people have been saying right and that I've probably said myself because it was popular at one time we were all feeling it right we just wanted to talk about it so we did but this is more I understand the wisdom behind it I understand that that is not you know that experience doesn't define me okay leap of faith it's a restart week for many of you what I'm going to do here I keep knocking into things what I'll do here just to kind of do this quickly, I'll do a general reading for everybody. And then I'm going to have you pick yellow, red is coming up, or violet. Okay, red, excuse me, yellow, red, or violet. Hopefully I can remember that too. Those are the colors that just popped up and I will pull cards for each one of those colors. Okay, all right, leap of faith, Archangel Metatron. So Metatron again is all about the intuition. So big emphasis on this and it is a restart. So there's something here about the knowledge coming through where you're like, I'm not approaching things in the same manner I used to. And there's, it's a big heart opening kind of experience as well. This says, believe in yourself, listen to your heart, do what gives you joy. I'm really hoping I remember those colors. <laughs> Yellow, red, and violet is what came through. All right, so there is that. We got a lot of purple in the cards too. Ten of Ariel. So this is the key here this week. There's something that you are unearthing. There is something that you are discovering about yourself, and it's about the perspective. So it's an internal shift, and that's what starts getting you flowing more with a 3D world. And they're showing me that it's like electricity going through wires. Whereas before it might just have been electricity flying all over the place and you're getting exhausted, you're feeling down from a spiritual standpoint. 
you know, wondering like, what the heck am I supposed to be doing here? Feeling lost, stuck, whatever it is. And now you're channeling that energy. You're, you're flowing it in a direction that is very valuable, not just for you, but for the collective. Okay. So this says there's so very much to be grateful for financial success and the promise of retirement. <laughs> How about that? A rich and rewarding family life. So there you go. This You're finding the key to your happiness. You're finding the key to your wealth and abundance and just feeling loved and uh, settled in is what I'm hearing. All right. Page of Michael. So you're going to have to kind of do a refresh on how you think. And I don't know, the page of Michael too is sort of in my mind being brave because you're young and naive and you don't know any better it might be a little bit of that so just be careful okay truthful perceptive analytical blunt an exciting new challenge you guys are having a fresh start this week and we'll go deeper into those colors because each one of those represents not just an energy but an archangel so yeah we'll see which archangel wants to work with you this week an exciting new challenge you have what it takes to succeed Review contracts or documents very thoroughly. So again, here's this reset, this refresh. Uh, I just heard opening lines of communication. Some of you, mm, you might be making amends with someone. Okay, hold on. For some of you out there, you're making amends with someone this week. This might have been someone that you have not spoken to in years, in years, and yet secrets are coming out. So if this is something that you didn't have the full picture on, the full story, maybe you wouldn't listen to the full story. Someone has secrets and I feel like, I don't even know, like they're trying to come and tell you something, but they're doing it in the clunkiest way or they're a little immature about it. They're being a little juvenile or self-indulgent is what I'm hearing as well. So be careful of somebody who wants to come, uh, you know, and have a conversation with you, but they're playing the victim. Okay. That's the basis of your message. Now pick yellow, red, or violet. I'm going to start with what I say first, yellow. So yellow is thought to be the color that resonates with Archangel Jophiel by some beliefs. Okay. Some people resonate with a light purple color, sort of a lilac color with Jophiel. I often see Jophiel in a bright yellow. So Jophiel, first and foremost, represents wisdom, the connection that you have to the divine and has been, as I'm hearing now, been sent to impart with other archangels, watch over humans on this earth plane to help us always see the beauty in everything, to see the beauty in our journey, to see the beauty even in our struggles, but to always nurture that connection to the divine. Okay, so when we see yellow, that's the solar plexus as well, right? So helping you feel good with who you are and not having to change, right? The way you look or you know, how you are, what you love, not having to adjust to this world, but keeping everything very purified, helping you in your uniqueness, as I'm hearing right now from Joe Fayel, here to help you with your uniqueness. So for you, those of you who chose yellow, we have six of Michael. It's the light at the end of the tunnel, but Breathe a sigh of relief. I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans, relocation or travel. You are coming into far more peaceful times. Now, how are you going to do that? Remember what I said in the general reading. You have to watch that in addition to this to get your full picture here. Okay, if you want a personal reading, angelsouls444.com. But this is saying that it's time to move away from a way of thinking. Stop seeing yourself. I can't sit here and say stop seeing yourself in a certain way. You feel the way you do. You see yourself in the way that you do. But there could be something that's sparking this big awareness that gets you going, hey, I don't have to be here. Hey, I don't have to put up with this. Hey, life can be nice and peaceful. New beginnings for you guys. All right. The number is 20. We reduce that to two. Go back and watch the general reading for an explanation on that. Archangel Jeremiah. Jeremiah is all about life review. Stopping and looking at where you've been 
And if you are, if you have been on a spiritual path for a very long time and you're very well balanced in that, um, meaning you're grounded as well, <laughs> plenty of people walk around going, oh, I'm, you know, I'm so not of this world and they're just not connected. It doesn't do you any good to be in a spiritual state of mind if you don't master how to bring it into this realm. You're supposed to be a conduit. Those of you who chose this, you're supposed to be a conduit for this divine energy. And so if you don't know how to bring it through the physical, you haven't done the mission or however we want to see that. So some of you with the life review part, you're looking at where you've been. You're looking at lessons through a different lens. Okay. So this says starting a new life, finding your purpose. We love that, right? Forgiving and compassion, uh, excuse me, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. So letting some stuff go, anything that is hindering you from enjoying your connection with God's source, creator, the universe, whatever you call that big power. All right. <laughs> so we have Ace of Ariel. If you don't know what Ace of Ariel is, <laughs> it's good. It's money. It's abundance. It's stability. And Ariel represents, let me tune into this. Ariel represents this deep detoxification. Yes. So taking energy that does not work for you, allowing it to go into the earth. The earth is here to work with you, not to work against you. Okay. So when we say this earth plane, you know, this horrible earth plane existence, you know, all of that, the earth... Gaia herself is a part of that and she has a spirit she has a soul so you know as does everything that we come in contact with so the ace of Ariel helps us with that deep connection and Ariel helps us with manifesting so it says it's your lucky day new resources of money time or support a change in job or a promotion. So if you guys are waiting on some news around uh, some employment or an opportunity, whatever that might be, it's an opportunity to help you feel more stable. Whether that is money, maybe you get into a role that offers you more time, you know, more time to do your creative pursuits or to take care of yourself, watch that come in. I want to bring back the idea of beautifying. There's something about joy, happiness. If you've been in a low space, as always, make sure you're getting proper psychological help as well. You know, so if you need to get with a therapist, there are support groups out there. All kinds of help is there because so many people do care. Don't let these people out here who are not working for the light, make you feel like your life isn't worth anything or that people don't care. There's the rest of us, baby. There is a whole other army out here and we're ready. We're ready to go against whatever they are trying to get you to believe and let you know that we do care and we do love you. So allow the beauty into your life. Of course, as I was giving that message, my recorder went out where I'm capturing the sound for this video. That's exactly what I'm talking about. That some people are like, no, sometimes things are just things that happen. And I agree with you. Sure. But darn it, those things always seem to happen when there is a deep message coming out. And especially if that message started landing for some of you and it shuts down, don't let that stop you. Don't ever let that stop you beautify your life. I was talking about mindfulness, everything that you're walking through, everything that you are, you know, experiencing. What is the beauty behind it? Now, this is not encouraging you to go down the path of like wishful thinking or being in denial about things. It's not that, but really seeing like, if you know where your soul comes from and what you're here for, then everything starts to make more sense. Now you don't feel so left out in the cold, especially socially. That's such a thing that gets held over our heads. If you're not accepted in this way or that way, then you're nothing, right? So we're going to leave it there for your group. I'm going to move on to people who chose the color red. All right. So if you chose the color red, red actually is associated or can be associated with Archangel Uriel and also Archangel Nathaniel. So Nathaniel, a lot of people don't know about Nathaniel. Uh, Nathaniel 
just shoots you into the future, right? So if you have been stuck and you need help getting unstuck, uh, Archangel Nathaniel will help you lift out of that. And it's not slow progression though. So you have to be ready. If you chose this group, chances are pretty good that you are in fact ready. Um, but helps you get up and get moving. Nathaniel has this sort of energy, like if you want to change it, but you, you know, I don't know, maybe you're just not having the energy to make a certain change. He gives you that extra burst of energy and clarity of thought so you can get moving. All right. So that's Nathaniel. Uriel can be associated with the solar plexus along with Archangel Michael. He's about that deep wisdom, um, but it's sort of... Uriel has a bigger kind of protective energy and Uriel is a carrier of wisdom. I've said in another video, he was one of the archangels that brought astrology to humans. A little controversial there, but, <laughs> but Uriel does help us find courage and strength and to see the truth of a situation. And in this case, I think this is seeing the truth of your personal situation, but also the truth of you. What do I mean by that? I mean... If someone is just always treating you like you're stupid and like you don't know anything, you're incapable, you're not talented, well, you do some self-examination. Am I praising myself before I've done the work? Am I expecting to get the lead before I've done, you know, practice on whatever it is, acting, singing, whatever it is? It has been absolutely quiet. If you chose also... The yellow group, the the recording that I was doing, because I'm capturing the sound through this microphone, it cut off. I never hear that train. Now, I don't even know if that's going to pick up on this microphone. This microphone's still kind of new to me. But there have been so many interruptions slash confirmations. And you got one too. Okay, you got one in your group. So, oof. I don't remember what I was saying right at that moment, um, but whatever it was, go back and watch it again. Extra emphasis on that. Even I think this is weird, okay? So we're talking about Uriel, strength and clarity, um, seeing the truth of your situation. I was saying, giving the example of someone is dragging you down, making you feel like you're less than, and you're going off and studying your craft and you know, you're being humble about it and not letting the ego twist you all up in knots and then you realize maybe you know I've, I've done my craft and I'm doing the best that I can uh, that person just is hateful and doesn't want anybody to succeed right so it might be a realization that's just an example but that might be something that might be happening for you this week please make sure you go back and watch the base message that's the rest of your message of course if you want something specific to you you can visit angel souls 444.com and book a reading. I am running really ahead of schedule on those. I have to look, but I think as this moment, as I'm recording, it's about a two day wait time. Okay. With the people that have come in, but that could change, especially if you see this later. Okay. Let's get you some more cards. There's a card sticking right out. The Empress, excuse me, group red. Okay. <laughs> the number's three. The number's three. There you go. There's that holy wisdom. The, your key word here is just wisdom. I know. That sounds like so like we say that stuff all the time. But <laughs> see how you can balance yourself out. And I'm hearing also three opinions. I That's coming through. So you might be of three minds about a situation. Or this could be usually it's seen as like father, mother, child especially with the empress, this would be having to do with babies. For some of you, it's a pregnancy or just your children. Um, but if, it, if that's not your situation and you chose this group, this is getting the strength and the clarity and the focus to move ahead on something that you thought was impossible. Now, this is probably a creative project. But remember, a creative project could be starting a business. Now, I'm not saying that that's right for everybody. Personal reading, angelsouls444.com if you want something more specific to your situation. Uh, but this is Archangel Gabriel. So this is be, hmm, in a healthy way being emotionally connected to what you're trying to create. 
Uh, but also this is finding your voice. Gabriel is associated with the sacral chakra as well as the throat chakra. So this could be releasing some stuck emotions, embracing who you are now. This is the divine feminine. We all have divine feminine and masculine within us. This could be finding your voice. And this is weird. And most people wouldn't tell you this because it's the empress and she's supposed to be like, the empress is kind of like, I don't know, in my mind, curvy. Um, but the throat chakra is thought to rule, uh, well, that's where your thyroid is, right? Is in the throat chakra area. So this is metabolism and can be associated with losing weight or gaining weight, whatever you got to do, okay? I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor, okay? <laughs> but just thought I would throw that out there. All right, so this card says, time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded. There you go. Luxurious or abundant resources. So I'm also hearing, allow yourself to enjoy your life. If you, you know, if you're always like, oh, that creative project or that thing that I want to do with my life, I'll get to it at some point. I'll get to it later. Well, make it a priority and allow yourself not to just like go through the motions just to hurry up and get it done. Enjoy the process. Have fun with it. Yeah. Queen of Ariel. I love all of this divine feminine energy coming through. She makes her own coin, okay? And she's not troubled with anybody in the drama, okay? <laughs> she's very grounded. Queen of Ariel. Mature, practical, generous, happy. Uh, nurture yourself and those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful. Practical and wise advice. So this could be someone that you are looking up to who has a bit of information for you. But I think a lot of you are kind of stepping into this type of energy. It's taking charge of your life. And this is very interesting because we started out with very masculine energy. And now your card reading is sort of balancing all of that out. Hello. Hello. Hello, my queens out there. Okay, another queen. Queen of Gabriel. That was all drama for nothing. It wasn't even funny. I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> Passionate, charming. I got to collect myself. Passionate, charming, brilliant, independent. You can do anything right now. Go after what you want. That's that Nathaniel uh, and who, who was the other one? Uriel. Uriel and Nathaniel. That's that kind of energy. Going after what you want. The ability to attract helpful people. So again, here's Gabriel saying, hey, release those stuck emotions so that you can get on with it. Actually, I just heard that. Release those stuck emotions so you can get on with it. So you can start bringing in the things that you love. Uh, but really, more than anything, if you, I feel like a lot of you have uh, kind of lost touch with what brings you joy and what brings you happiness. Uh, or just not giving yourself enough of a chance, like I said before, to enjoy it. And they're saying that a lot of us, will we say oh i just want to have a relaxing day well maybe your idea of a relaxing day is just doing basic self-care think about that oh my little escape is taking a warm bath well you know why do you have to <laughs> why do you have to rush through a shower if you've got a bathtub and that's how you want to cleanse your body i mean you could do that anytime you want right but do you see what i'm getting at here it's like oh i'm going to do you know give myself this little bit of attention and and that's my vacation you see how that doesn't work very well all right i'm excited for you guys i don't know what the heck you got going on watch out for pregnancies we had all that very driven masculine energy and then the empress and two queens Some, uh, someone, oh, should I say this? Um, someone watching this uh, is pregnant and you don't know it yet. Okay, congratulations. All right, so we're going to leave it there. Leave your comments down below and let's move on to the people who chose violet. Hello, people who chose violet as your color. Well, we know the frequency of violet is very spiritual. It's very connected to the divine. It's very open. It's very intuitive. But it resonates with the archangel Zadkiel. And Violet can actually be associated a little bit with Metatron. Now, I know a lot of people see Metatron in this like orangey light. I've heard all kinds of things with Metatron. But 
the way I perceive Metatron is sort of in, sometimes it's orange, but it's sort of an iridescent bluish purple, okay? So however you connect with that color, this is your message. Now let's get into the two archangels that could be associated with this color. Zadkiel is all about transmutation. Transmutation by changing the way you look at things. Some people call this reframing, but it's deeper than that from a spiritual standpoint. This is uh, finally seeing the value in something that on the surface seemed like a struggle. So Zadkiel helps us sort of dissipate you know, energies around us that have taken too much of a hold on us. Zadkiel can also help if someone is putting negative energy on you th that is meant to hold you up, right? Um, meant to hold you back, meant to make you feel bad. People have certain names for that type of thing, but Zadkiel can help dispel that. All right, and to lift your frequency and help you have a healthier connection to who you are and, and embracing who you are instead of trying to escape it, but also rising up and taking sort of an eagle eye view of what's going on. Now, this is not meant for you to be self-indulgent or to put yourself on a pedestal and say, I rise above everything. I mean, people do some disgusting things with spiritual ideas, right? And by disgusting, I mean like, again, self-centered, narcissistic, you know, all that. I, I talk about that quite a bit. But this violet, you think violet flame, think St. Germain kind of energy, okay? It's time to let something go. And the thing is, it's interesting because what seems like stone is merely dust, and when you go up and you just, you know, you might see something as insurmountable, like here's this huge blockade in front of me, like here's this huge boulder in front of me and you go up and you just touch it. You just acknowledge it and it crumbles and it's nothing but dust. So that's happening for some of you <laughs> this week. When we bring in the Metatron, the Metatron, uh, Metatron energy, this is suddenly feeling right with all that is. And it is just this peaceful, serene epiphany and, and sort of a gliding in to your circumstances and saying, hey, it's okay. Nothing's worth stealing my joy. Even if you're having financial problems or you're having relationship problems, this is not about escapism. That's not what this is or hiding behind your spirituality. So you don't have to take accountability for things. This is not what that is. This is looking at things with the sharpest intuition, the sharpest third eye, because that's Metatron. Metatron oversees a lot of things, sacred geometries, the... Uh, keeper of the Akashics. He's the sacred scrum. I'm going to share something with you guys. This has happened in every single group now. Every single group has had some interruption of some sort. For you guys, my camera shut off. It's weird. Um, it's a little weird. So pay attention to what I was saying. I was describing Archangel Metatron. But I also feel like some of these things, it could be seen as a confirmation. But some of this is trying to literally stop me from saying this so just sit with that for a second so I say Metatron is a sacred scribe he's all about intuition he helps children he's all about raising your frequency he is really the archangel that helps quite a bit with ascension and the ascension process so for you guys, we're going to pull some cards for you, but for you guys, you know, this week might be a little less fun, not terrible, just not, you know, giddy, <laughs> right? It's sort of um, gaining your freedom in some way. And no, this isn't like, oh, that's right. I'm going to quit that job. I mean, it might be that, but that's not the whole story. Okay. Hmm. Okay. We got King of Michael here, principled, rational, ambitious, respected. Wisdom and objectivity are important now. Stay in your integrity, a situation that calls for honest and open communication. This is what it is. This is so the energy of I'm getting real. If I want a healthy body, I am in charge of how that happens. No more excuses. No more 
oh, it feels like it's beyond my control. None of that. Maybe for you, the take charge part of this is acknowledging what emotions are behind your actions. Not to blame, not to avoid accountability for things, but just realizing, hey, you know what? I do self-sabotage. You know what? I do make excuses. You know what? I do, just out of my fear, take a negative approach to everything because I've been betrayed or I've been let down or humans just disappoint me at every turn, right? So the king is saying, hey, bring it back, you know, um, look at things from from an objective standpoint, really. So then we have justice. The number is eight. A lot of times people associate the number eight with, and it's a purple card too, hey, um, <laughs> with the number eight with abundance. But this could also be infinity if you turn it on its side. But it can also be um, in a flow. It depends on what other energy you are contributing to this. So this could be a pattern that's sort of never ending and it just keeps looping and looping and looping <laughs> or it could be uh, being in a flow and finding your flow. All right. So this is Justice Archangel Raguel. Here's a big thing for you guys this week. Make sure you're watching the general part of this reading at the beginning of the video. But if you want something individual to you, go to angelsouls444.com. You can book a session with me and we'll dive right in and see what's going on for you. But Raguel is about how humans interact with other humans and what we learn on a soul level from that interaction. Raguel helps us with our human connection and enjoying that human connection. All right. I always say that Raguel is the archangel of making sure we play nice with one another. <laughs> so justice, something is equaling out. Fight for justice and equality. Rulings made in your favor. Don't give up. This feels like a karmic cycle, all right? Now, for some of you, you're getting very, very good karma coming in this week and you're finally being able to release something and put it to rest. And for others of you watching this, you're gonna realize your want for power, your want to be seen in a certain way is backfiring on you, right? So if you're somebody who's like, you know, I'm really passionate about, um, I don't know, being a good business person, let's say. And yet the way you approach your business is by taking advantage of people, which is going to make some business people or salespeople laugh. It's like telling a salesperson, hey, don't be manipulative. They'll laugh at you because that's their whole thing. That is sales. That's not fair. That's not, it, it, that's what it is. Okay. That's, how, that's what marketing is. It's unavoidable. I think it's just how our brains work, but, um, it is what it is. And that's part of the seeing things like cutting to the core of what it is. And they're saying to watch your expectations. I had to go to the post office today, very mundane task. And I was really expecting, I don't know what I was expecting. Honestly, I was expecting chaos. I think I was expecting for things to be difficult. And I went in and there was the loveliest lady working behind the counter. And she was helping me. She was helping another person. She was there all by herself. Well, at the front by herself. Um, and she was helping both of us. And she was just so pleasant and so sweet. And I walked out of there and I had, the truth that I had to acknowledge to myself is why do I always assume people are going to be jerks? <laughs> right? Like, are there a lot of jerks in this world? Yeah. Um, but not everybody is one, you know? So I just want to lay that down. Uh, but this justice card is kind of equalizing things. So what I was saying is, is if you're somebody who, um, you know, you're just very passionate about making a lot of money in this world, but you're trying to do that by taking advantage, as I was stating, uh, then this is not going to go well for you. It's just not going to go well for you. Okay. 10 of Raphael. Keep it good, y'all. This is a nice healing emotional experience. So this could be um, becoming, becoming one with someone. It could be becoming one with your own energy. Uh, whatever it is, is a sense of like completeness, uh, completeness. Um, hmm. I heard financial blessings for you guys too. This is like a very beautiful emotional completeness. So, uh, whatever that looks like for you feeling accepted and loved and appreciated. 
So it says, love and blessings fill your life, harmonious relationships with family members, happily ever after. So you have a great potential here this week. This is very, very, very beautiful, but you have some things that you need to come through, some things that you need to work on, and most of that is examining how you think. How do you see yourself? How do you see others? How do you see your life? This would be the pile that probably a lot of like <laughs> negative thinkers <laughs> tend to gravitate towards um, because you're in a state of defensiveness. You're in a state of self-preservation. So yeah, again, it's not a bad week. It, it's going to have a nice outcome, I do feel, but there's going to be a little bump in the road here. Again, self-awareness is going to be key. So I'm going to be making a video on angelic souls and how to know if you are one. If you want to hop on over there and check it out, that'd be great. Angelsouls444.com. I am sending you all so much love and take care. Bye.